Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Happy holidays! Well, today I'm going solo. I'm going to be meeting my friend for lunch and we're going to a restaurant called Merriman's which is located in the Kaka'ako Ward Village area. I've been to this restaurant about three or four times before but today I'm going to try some dishes I've never tried before but always wanted to. So if you want to know what it's like, then come along with me. Welcome to Merriman's. Here, they are committed to serving only the freshest Hawaii regional cuisine with an emphasis of supporting our local farmers and local vendors. Once you enter this establishment, you get a feeling of happiness and joy. The decor is contemporary, subtle, yet sophisticated. You can have your choice of indoor or outdoor dining. Let's start our dining experience with some cool refreshments. Merriman's has an extensive cocktail, beer, and wine menu. Now, if you don't drink alcohol, don't worry. They also offer a zero-proof section full of yummy non-alcoholic drinks. Since I had to drive, I ordered a Lily Koi Pop from the zero-proof section. This drink was overflowing with Lily Koi flavor. I love the Lily Koi foam at the top and the mint leaves. It was not overly sweet and very easy to drink. Another drink we tried was the strawberry cooler. It was made with muddled strawberry, lime, and ginger beer for just a little bit of spice. They also added a sprig of rosemary for aroma. At Merriman's, they have a menu that's broken down into different sections, such as appetizers, sides to share, salads, and entree. You can tell that all the offerings were going to be something very special. Taco, uh, taco and country bread. So how we make it is escargot style. Uh, but we use a Spanish octopus and then we actually cook it three times. So it's going to be really, really tender. So we steam it, we bake it, and then we broil it. Wow. And then, yeah, and then we top it off with the cognac, parsley, and garlic butter sauce. For our first appetizer, we ordered the taco and country bread. This dish resembles the French style escargot, but instead of snails, they use taco or octopus. The texture was extremely soft and the cognac parsley garlic butter sauce flavored the taco extremely well. I liked that I was able to dunk my country bread in the leftover sauce. It was so delicious. The second appetizer we ordered was called the Oahu Shrimp Truck. This was made with wild Pacific white shrimp topped with garlic, ginger, and lemon. On the bottom, you'll find some local cabbage slaw. The shrimp were very substantial and plump. I love that the garlic flavor just jumped out at you. The cabbage slaw added just the right amount of freshness. We can't go without eating our greens. So today we tried the roasted beet and fennel salad. It was made with frizzy lettuce, Hawaii Island goat cheese, orange slices, mint, cilantro, all topped with an acai vinaigrette. The salad was light with a hint of fruitiness. The orange slices added a nice citrus flavor to this delicious dish. Here we have our Wagyu beef umami burger. So we do use Wagyu beef on there. And it comes on a house-made Kaiser bun. So we make it in-house every morning. Our bakers come in at 2 a.m. Uh, and then we also have um, some arugula on there. Uh, and then some pickled onions, red onions. And then we also have a gura cheese and all our small kind farm mushrooms. For my entree, I decided to order the Wagyu Umami Burger. What intrigued me was the name because it had the words Wagyu and Umami. This burger tasted like steak and I'm not kidding. It had a deep meaty flavor that was so savory. 
The flavor was further enhanced by the truffle aioli. I would definitely get this again. Leona ordered the fish and shrimp and chips. This was a Waikiki Brewing craft beer battered catch of the day with wild shrimp accompanied by sea salt fries, malt vinegar aioli, and a slice of lemon. The batter was light and crunchy, while the fish was very flaky and moist. This dish was a winner's. It's dessert time. The first dessert we ordered was called the Liliquoi Posset. This had a custardly flan-like consistency topped with homemade macnut cookie, slices of fresh strawberry and cream. Again, it had a nice liquid flavor that was not too tart, not too sweet, but just right. Our next dessert was a Merriman's take on the bread pudding. It consisted of Maui gold pineapple and mac nuts. It was surrounded by a pool of rum butter sauce and topped with vanilla ice cream. Can't go wrong with that. If you're celebrating a special birthday, be sure to let them know. They'll bring out a special dessert just for you. Thank you for watching our visit to Merriman's at Ward Village. We left so happy and satisfied. Can't wait to visit here again.